I have with me the all new Silky Compression Socks, 15 to 20 MMHG compression material. Let's get it. Our first ever medical grade compression socks. All right, we're gonna press this with no, no jig the first time to see how that comes out. So I'm just literally gonna lay it down on here and adjust my time a bit. Let's go 400 degrees and 35 seconds. Don't want that paper to curl on me now. Just fold it down a bit here. Boom, boom, and boom. That's some heavy pressure. All right, let's take a look at that first side Ooh, with the auto open. Bam. Very nice. As you can see, the sublimation came out beautiful. Touch these here. So this sock does have a black interior like our other athletic socks. And now we're going to see how the it holds up on with the line on the sides with no jig. So for the second side, I'm just going to flip them over. As you can see, I'm doing them kind of like reverse here. One up, one, one down. So I could fit it all easily on one transfer sheet. So here we go. Bam. Let's get it, Aaliyah. Second side. Yeah. Three, two, one, zero. Smoky. All right, let's see here. Bam. Notice, guys, I didn't do a roll technique either. And I'm curious to see that line on the sides. Just as curious as you are. Hey, on that guy, you know, line looks clean. And you know why there's no nasty white line? Because basically when I didn't have a jig in it, it didn't really stretch it, but it also didn't make it thicker. So I was able to press one, press the other. And the reason I'm kind of confident on doing that is because these compression socks are meant to be nice and tight. So if I put it in a jig, it might stretch them too much. And I kind of had a feeling that it would press one side and the other without a nasty white line. And there it is with the stretch. Not bad. You can see it stretch out a little, but because of that black interior, it still looks pretty good. So there's the no jig finish. So if you do want to start making these compression socks with no jig, I ain't mad at you. You could use these no jig. They'll keep their, their exact same shape, which is nice and they'll eliminate most of the line and they'll retain uh, its compression qualities. There it is, let's get it. Time to make these compression silkies using this jig, the knee high silky socks jig. So the way I wanna do this is I wanna load them where I actually leave the, the bottom foot part on this contour cut area because compression socks are meant to be tight on the, especially on the near the ankle. So these are a graduated compression and you want them nice and tight near the ankle, but the jig will help for me to eliminate the line with the roll technique and it'll help give it some stretch when I'm wearing it with, to retain the design elements. And it'll give a little bit of stretch to this part, but not too much. You don't, I don't want to actually overstretch this sock because of course it is a compression sock. But here's an example of how I'm loading it onto the Silky Socks knee high jigs, as you can see. And we'll give it a press. Okay, let's see how these guys came out. All right, pretty good. A little bit faded on the bottom here. We'll see if we can get that on the other side. Might need a few more seconds with the, with the jigs or yeah, probably needed like maybe five more seconds. I think it was not completely flat on the foot area. Okay. So we'll see if we can improve that on the other side. So now I could do my flip switch and roll technique because I have the, the jigs here. Okay. 
Now I gotta just check if this is nice and flat. I think that was possibly the issue on that first side. And press. All right, I think that's gonna come out good. Let's get it. Okay, let's see these. Oh yeah, that came out better. That came out better. My observation is the, the heel flattened up nicely on this one. On the first side, that's probably what caused some of this fading, but we were able to improve it on the second side. Another way you may want to do this is load them uh, side to side, kind of like this guy. So then you won't have to, ah, it's hot. So then you won't have to worry about squeezing in that heel. These are naturally a flat side side. So consider making them side side like this, but let's uh, finish these guys off. So I'm gonna unload at the top, peel at the top and unload from the bottom, I mean. You do a little peel at the top and unload at the bottom. And there is your final result. The nice thing about using the jigs is I was able to eliminate the line pretty good with the roll technique, as you can see. I was able to get most of that there. Pretty much all of that on this side. So we'll do the stretch test on this guy. Yeah, and that's the benefit of using a jig is you'll get your print looking almost exactly like the way it was met, sublimated when you put it on and wear it. So there it is, guys, making the compression socks with the jig using these knee-high jigs. And if you want to see the compression socks without the jig, go to our part one. Let's get it.